Hello friends, my name is Tim and I work with Pilot Edge on the backend uh, code and server systems and today I want to talk to you about our upcoming ATIS system. This is something a lot of people have been asking about and excited about for a long time and I've been doing a lot of the work on it over the last couple of weeks working with uh, Peter and the other ops guys and having the controllers help test it and we are so close to being ready to roll it out that I thought it would be cool to do a quick demo video. So I'm sitting here at uh, Centennial airport which is right outside of denver colorado alpha papa alpha in my little cessna 172 and the way this system is going to work is exactly like the real world ATIS. just like everything else in pilot edge we use real world frequencies real world everything so that you don't have to worry about a different separate system so if i go over to sky vector or whatever your frequency retrieval tool of choice is you can see there's an ATIS frequency published at centennial 120.3 back in the airplane we go to the radios, and as long as you're connected to Pilot Edge and within range, you will hear ATIS on that frequency for all of the airports that how we have towered and that have real-world ATIS. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Yankee. Just like in the real world, when you tune in, Denver Centennial it might Airport. Be in the middle of the broadcast. ATIS information, Yankee. One eight five three Zulu. Wind three one zero at seven. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at four thousand. Few clouds at eight thousand to two thousand scattered. Temperature five. Dew point minus five. Altimeter two nine or six zero. Departing runway three five left. Three five right. Arriving runways three five left. Three five right. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short and Okay, so a couple details there. One, it's using the VHF simulation technology that we have on all of the Pilot Edge radios. So that me and I'll show you more about why that is important in a minute, but makes it sound nice and realistic like a real radio does, nothing like the X-Plane text-to-speech. Two, those ATIS codes and the information that's current now matter. In the past on the Pilot Edge network, you've been get able to get away with just saying you have the weather or you have any letter at all, and because we didn't have ATIS system, the controllers would just sort of accept that. Uh, that's not going to be the case anymore. They're going to see what the current information is, the information code is in their view of things, and so you as a pilot are going to have to report it as well. I want to show you one thing here before we talk about uh, custom weather. I want to show you what happens when you are farther away from the airport than where we are right now, which is just sitting on the ground. So let's warp time a little bit, and we'll go zip around the airspace. Okay, so now here we are in the air at about 12,000 feet, in the Cessna, just bear with me here. And we are a number of miles from the uh, Centennial Airport, probably about 70 nautical miles. And we're in airborne, so we will be able to receive the frequency, but listen to how it sounds. Run instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Yankee. Denver Centennial so it has airport. that realistic ATIS distance sort of effect. So you will be able to pick up ATIS as you're flying towards an airport, but it'll be a little bit harder to hear, just like the real world as long as you're using the X-Plane client and hopefully we'll have the radio simulation, the VHF simulation tech in the prepared client soon. Hope so. All right, one last thing to talk about and that is custom weather. Uh, pilots ask all the time, can I use Pilot Edge with custom weather? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, oftentimes pilots want to run specific scenarios like doing an approach to minimums, but it's a nice day in the real world or the vice versa. They want to do patterns and it's, you know, socked in. So yes, you absolutely can use custom weather on pilot edge. And now that this system is in place, we actually have two, two very important tools that you can use to help communicate to the controllers that you're using custom weather. One is the new system. The new ATA system will never assign the letter Zulu or Z for a ATIS information broadcast. That letter is reserved for people who are using custom weather. So if you check in with Zulu, the controller knows you're using custom weather. The other thing we're adding, and this isn't quite done yet, but it will be very soon, is that on the flight plan filing form on the website, there will be a box you can check that you're using custom weather. And if that box is checked, it will provide another data point to the controllers. The controllers will be able to see that and it will help ensure that you don't um, get instructions that rely on you using the weather. That code, that box being present and checked will also prevent you from receiving the Pilot Edge ATIS broadcast. So you'll get the ATIS broadcast from your sim just like you do now. So you can still simulate checking ATIS and doing all the things that you would normally do and you'll get the custom weather that you have. 
okay so that's it that's that's what we're working on that's what we've been working on really hard for the last two or three weeks now we're super excited to launch this uh, we are planning to launch this um, as i sit here today it is tuesday february 5th we are planning to launch this tomorrow wednesday february 6th that the net when the network opens it should be online for all of the towered airports within the pilot edge network that have ADIS information available, which is most of them. You won't need to update the clients. Nothing needs to be happened. You don't need to do anything in the client except just tune the radios like you always would. So can't wait to get everyone on the system, get everyone trying it out and letting us know what you think. Looking forward to it. See ya.